How you doing, good people? This is a bit animal. Okay, so today's title, much like yesterday's title, uh, is a Konami game. It's uh, one of the best titles on its system. Uh, in this case, the Sega Genesis. And instead of it being a shoot 'em up, it's a side scroller. It's a side scrolling platformer. Um, there's some medieval some you know some medieval mixed with technology stuff going on knights and um uh, knights and princesses and all that and uh pigs and opossums oh my <laughs> today's game is rocket knight adventures now rocket knight adventures you play as an opossum by the name of sparkster who is a knight on the planet of Elhorn and a member of the, um, the kingdom of Zebulus. Now, in the, during the course of the game, some some pigs from a warring faction, from a faction that Zebulus is warring with, they attack. Um, there's a a corrupt knight by the name of Axel Gear. Uh, he kidnaps a princess. Just a whole bunch of stuff is going on in this game, story-wise. Um, but the point of the game is to defeat Axel Gear, defeat the pigs, and rescue Princess Sherry. This is a standard, standard fare. But Rocket Knight Adventures does it in really, really, really good fashion. Um, it's a well done game. The platforming is great. There are a lot of mechanics involving, you know, little things that possums do, like hanging from from tree limbs by their tail, stuff like that. Um, and there's also a lot of flight involved in the game, considering the fact that um, Sparkster, the main character, is equipped with a jetpack. Um, their chart there's a charge attack that will allow you to to spin with your sword with your store sword outstretched there's a um, there's a charge thing that you can do with involving your jetpack where if you charge and hit the jump button at the top of your charge you'll fly or or fly forward uh, really quickly now Rocket Knight doesn't reinvent the wheel, but what it does, it does in amazing Konami fashion. It's a really well done game. Um, it's your, it's an example of what a good side-scrolling platformer is supposed to be. And I heartily recommend this game. Now, there is a sequel to Rocket Knight Adventures called Sparkster. It was released on the Super NES. I don't know if it was released on the Genesis in the States. Um, there's also a... There's also a bit of a remake, if you want to call it that, called... Uh, just simply called Rocket Knight, which was released on PlayStation Network and XBLA. Um, it was released... the a couple years ago so about I would say 2010 and it's still floating around out there so if you really want to try that new try that uh, that remake you could check that out it shouldn't cost more than 10 bucks um, Rocket Knight Adventures is a it's it's a common game but it's not you know it's a common game it's not really rare but for whatever reason, 16-bit titles um, over the last few years have carried a premium price. So finding one may be a bit tricky at a decent price. But again, if you like side-scrolling platformers, you should really play Rocket Knight Adventures. This has been the 8-Bit Animal, and I will catch you beautiful people tomorrow.